Welcome to the Life of Hair Studio. This is a very special episode of the Life of Hair. Wow. First of all, I've got to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who's ever watched a video, to anybody who's ever left a comment, and to the 70,000 subscribers I got to this week. I remember making a video when I got to 10,000 subscribers and was completely over the moon. I never in my wildest dreams ever thought that I would get 10,000 subscribers. And 70,000 subscribers, well, it just feels ridiculous. I have to admit that. But it's been one hell of an amazing journey. And you guys, have played your part in this journey. I am now sitting in our new home where I will be creating all of the future content for the life of hair going forward and I will also be doing some of my wonderful clients. So I am absolutely over the moon to introduce you to the story of the life of hair studio. This is the last six weeks of my life well, a snapshot at least. The last six weeks of my life would make an incredibly long video. But I really wanted to share with you guys how we got here, what it all took, and what it all takes to create videos week in, week out for the last three and a half years nearly. And really just to not specifically say it's difficult or is hard work or whatever, because I absolutely love it. There's nothing I enjoy more than reading a comment where someone's found the video so helpful that it's changed the way they do something. That is mind blowing. But the payback for that has been amazing. And I once read a quote that went something along the lines of those who give shall receive. And I can't for one second express enough with words how that actually applies to this journey. Enjoy the video. It is 1.54 a.m. and I am still up editing. Painting's all done here in the studio. Um, I love this dark gray wall that I've popped in as a bit of a feature. The rest of the studio is gonna be white walls. Uh, it's time to get on with the flooring. I really like doing things with my hands, hence why I'm a hairdresser by, by trade. So I have taken on all of the tasks in here, except for electrics and plumbing. I know nothing about any of that. So that's gonna be done by someone else, but I'm very excited to get the floor down. It is five to 12 and I am just starting to film some more of this week's video. And this week's video that I've been making is probably a standard amount of time that it takes to make a video each and every week. I spend around 10 hours every single week on a video and I love every single minute of reading every single comment that comes through and I know I don't get back to everybody all the time, I do try, but no matter what happens in a week, no matter what I'm doing, opening a new salon, I will be there making those videos for you guys to enjoy. So today I'm collecting the basins and the table, the styling section if you will. Uh, for the salon in the biggest van I've ever driven in my entire life. It is absolutely freaking enormous. It doesn't stay in the car parking space. It looks like I've abandoned it. Anyway, uh, we're going to Crawley and then we're going to Croydon. 
uh, to Ikea as well to pick up some of the furniture. So it's all part of the journey of <laughs> getting this place open. Anyway. Classic Ikea trip. Anyone doing anything goes to Ikea. Second stop of the day, Ikea. It is 32 degrees. I am sweating my chuff off to drive home. We're back in the studio. <laughs> I am dripping with sweat. Oh, we've left something off the bottom of the basins. So we just have to get those extremely heavy basins from that van there to all the way over there. I think they look quite good. I've also brought a big table. That's a big concrete table in there. That was Another 50 odd kilos worth. Oh. But here's the new lights, the electricians fitted all new LED, not these ones, these are actual just skylights. Uh, but the more whitey looking ones here, and over there, they are new LED light panels, just to change from the really bright yellow light that was here previously. So back tomorrow to sort all this stuff out and build half of it and yeah, the plumber will be here soon and he'll fit the basins and it'll start to look like a real little hair salon. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so I've managed to parallel park this enormous van in a space that's not a lot bigger than the van itself. <laughs> not too bad considering. I started driving that van this morning. I'm pretty pleased with that. Today was a good day. We got most of the furniture for the salon in one day. Everything except the chairs. A little bit of a dilemma with the chairs, but anyway. It is now probably 20 past 11. I did my live tonight, so hello my Patreons. This is what I did once I'd finished our how to control the warm blonde colour theory Q&A session that we just did. And I'm now gonna go in and I'm actually gonna do a bit of work, believe it or not. It is 2.48 a.m. My dad always said to me, James, the job isn't finished until the job is finished. Right then guys, well, we are getting there slowly. The plumber's been to do a bit of work on the basins, but he's kind of doing it ad hoc. First shelving unit. <laughs> we have the workstation in place, a couple of cupboards. It's coming together slowly but I'm not like hammering it either. Um, it's just one of those things. There's a kitchen around here. I don't think I've shown you guys the kitchen, but it's well and truly a building site in here at the moment. So it is just before 1 a.m. In fact, it's 12.45 to be exact, as you can see on the clock there. This is the fifth night this week. I've been here at this time. Bringing these things together is never easy. I know that, you know, I wasn't expecting it to be any different, but um, you know what? It's been a fantastic journey. Tomorrow is the first day with the first clients in the studio. I am thrilled, over the moon. So let's join me again tomorrow for the end of this journey. Welcome to the studio, guys. This is the finished result. Well, let's say this is the finished result. It's 95% there. We're waiting on some plants and some different mirrors. But in a nutshell, this is it and I have never been prouder of something that I have achieved myself. So I hope you guys enjoy the content that I produce from this studio for you guys. So I really want to say 
again a massive thank you to all of you guys out there i don't know if i can ever express in words or get it across in the right way the confidence that it's given me to have you guys love the videos I create, leave amazing comments, support me on Patreon. It's all culminated in me feeling like that this is the right step forward. Me taking charge of my own future and building what I hope is something that we can all enjoy together.